Hi everybody, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. Today is a review video and I'm excited about it because a while back I had the chance to try out the Earthworks PM40 piano microphone at a gig and I thought it was one of the coolest contraptions I had ever seen. When I went to the NAMM show, I found the Earthworks people and I asked them if they thought they could let me have one to review. Well, it turns out it's super expensive and they could only lend me one, but I appreciate that so very much. And it's enough to where I can get a little recording done at my house and make a nice review video. Now the microphone I mic my piano with all the time, because it's the only one that I have, is this Rode NT4. I paid $470 for it and got it used online. I like it because it's set up in this XY pattern, right? So one mic can point at the low end, one mic can point at the high end, and it's a nice, uh, so it can be a nice stereo pattern for the piano. Now it's done the job for me and I've used it for nearly every recording I've done at my house. So today I would like to put this bad boy up against that bad boy. Let me show you that bad boy. The first thing to note is that the PM40 uses the Earthworks piano mic patented system which makes it behave differently than almost every other microphone you've probably ever used. The microphone heads are permanently attached to the center section of this telescopic bar that you see. And my favorite thing about this bar is that it lies on the piano so that if you were watching this concert of somebody playing, you wouldn't even be able to tell that the piano was miked. It sits inside of the piano and there's really no way to see. Notice the goose neck arms that the microphones are positioned on. They're very easy to maneuver and to place however you would like to. Both of them, like I said, are permanently affixed to the center section of the bar. However, with the two knobs, you can expand and retract the bar and in turn move those two microphones the, or the center section of the bar toward the top strings or the bottom strings, however you would like. On one end of the piano mic, there's a multi-connector shielded cable that comes out of the tube below the support arm. It doesn't matter which side of the piano the cable exits. So you can set it up on either side, probably depending on where your audience is, and it connects to the electronics box where you'll need two XLR cables to run into your mixer or preamp. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you that it comes in this nice case, which made it really easy um, for them to ship to me and for me to ship it back to them. One nice feature is that it comes with this leather pouch for the electronic box. So if you wouldn't like to have your electronic box sitting on top of the piano like I do, you just slip it inside, use the strap, and strap it right to the side of your piano on the leg. It makes it virtually impossible to tell that your piano is being miked. There are also brackets in case you'd like to permanently mount the electronics box inside the piano or wherever you would like so that it's out of sight. There are also really clear directions about how to set up with diagrams, which I enjoy. Um, so placing the microphones two to three inches from the dampers is what they recommend. Um, they give you different ideas though, so that you can try your own ways. I found that I like this the best. They also show you that with conventional ribbon microphones, the pickup pattern tends to only be on one side of the microphone, but you see the second diagram, these patented microphones pick up from all around in every direction, which actually allows you to record with the lid closed if you choose to do that, as I will show you soon. I also wanted to show you this diagonal position. It's so easy just to expand or contract the bar a little bit and position it anywhere along the curvature of the piano. It means that you can mic the strings down low, you can mic over the sound holes if you choose to. The options are really limitless. And the goosenecks that the microphones are mounted on are really easy to move and they stay tight wherever you put them. You can angle them down, put them as close to the strings as if you want to. You can even, you know, angle them away or back toward the dampers or you can lift the whole thing up so that it's further away from the strings if you'd like as well. These mics were specifically built to sit inside of a piano, which make them behave differently than other microphones you've used. 
The carefully matched random incidence omni microphones have extremely fast impulse response, very short diaphragm settling time, extended frequency response, 4 hertz to 4 kilohertz, and a near perfect polar response, high current class A amplifiers, and the ability to handle sound pressure of up to 148 dBs. All right, for my test, I wanted to show you that I've got two XLR cables running out and into my mixers, uh, channels one and two, and then my Rode microphone is in channels three and four. As you can see, all of the EQ levels are just straight up. I've got no effect, and uh, my gains are all right around two-thirds of the way up. That's the way I'll set them, as well as the levels at the bottom. I'll set everything right about at the U, and I won't touch a thing in post-production. Now my Rode mic will be positioned toward the middle of the strings with one mic pointed over at the high strings and the other mic at the low strings and I've got it just as close to the strings as I can get it. For my first test, I'll record both the Rode microphone in this position and the Earthworks microphone in this position with four different styles of piano playing. Stride piano, jazz ballad, classical, and a boogie blues. First, the road NT4. And now the same four styles, but on the Earthworks mic at this position.
and now because my friend Jeff told me I should, a second position for the Rode NT4, and I'm going to call this High Close to Dampers. It's about 12 inches away from the strings. And now, just because I can, the lid is closed with the Earthworks PM40. Same exact mic positioning, though.
that's pretty cool. So, I mean, even in a live, so in a live setting, you have the option to close the piano and get rid of the drum sound, the bass sound, the guitar sound. I mean, not entirely, but largely. I don't know another microphone that can record with the lid shut. It's pretty amazing. And although I don't prefer the sound of it in the end, I think it's a great option. All right, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed trying these out and listening to them in my headphones and on monitors. Don't forget to do both if you have access to both because I think it's um, important to note the intricacies of everything, you know, close to your head, but also using your monitor, you can hear things, you know, in more of a kind of live setting and, um, and get it spread out a little bit in the room. I hope that if you can afford it, you go pick up one of these Earthworks PM40s because it's my favorite thing. I just can't imagine a nicer sound. I definitely want to use it on my next album. The clarity is just astounding to me. I, that's, I listen back to it and that's the first and only word that comes to my mind is clarity. It's really fun actually to hear you playing back with such clarity. Of course, I'll still be using my Rode because that's what I've got and it's what I can afford. But at some point, I'm definitely gonna pick one up. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Amy Nolte Music.